Hi everyone, in this lecture, uh, I'm going to show you how you can create a Postgres database. Now, a little bit about Postgres. Postgres is yet another relational database management system that follows the same approach as SQLite and uh, MySQL to storing data. A Postgres database has tables with columns and rows. It is an object relational DB as opposed to SQLite or MySQL. This RDBMS contains some very advanced features such as uh, table inheritances and function overloading, to name a few, but we're not going to cover those. Uh, and it can handle multiple tasks at the same time while ensuring data integrity. Um, it follows the same specification, uh, the same SQL specification, but it follows it more closely than SQLite or MySQL for that matter. And the Postgres is also asset compliant and is very highly extensible. It means you can define your own data types, add custom functions using other programming languages. And uh, you can also replace, uh, you can create plugins to replace any internal components that you do not like. So uh, some of these features, sometimes the these features slow down the Postgres database. Uh, Postgres database takes up a lot of memory for every client connection. So at the end, there are some up, up, down, upsides and there are some downsides as well. Now, to be able to cr work with a Postgres database, go ahead and open up SQL uh, Shell or Post SQL, also called. And then it is going to ask you to enter a local uh, server, which is going to be localhost, the same one that they've entered here. Hit enter, and then uh, the U uh, database is Postgres. Port is 52, uh, 5432. Username is Postgres. Password is the password. You are typing the password, but it's not showing it. That's the thing about Postgres. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Now, uh, before, uh, when it is your first interaction with Postgres, you need to create a role. So I'm going to say create role. Uh, I'm going to say M underscore Halali. I have already created Halali role, so I'm, I cannot create it again. So I'm going to create another one with login password. Let's pass in the password. I'm just going to give it the same password as the Postgres role created. When you create the role, you need to allow it to create and remove databases as well. So you need to alter it as well. So alter role uh, M underscore Halali. Um, with, let's go capital, with create DB. Perfect. Now the role is also altered. I'm going to get out of this SQL shell uh, by doing backslash Q and pressing any key. I'm going to go back inside of it and zoom in. So let's say it is local host. Perfect. The database is Postgres. Port is 5432, but the username this time is M underscore Halali. Perfect. This is the password for it. There we go. So now we have changed the user. We can take a look at the already existing databases. So you can see that we have both Postgres template O, template 1. For you, it might be different or it might not be different. Not really. Uh, so moving on from this topic, the way that you can create a database in Postgres is the same way that we have been doing so far. So we, because all of them follow SQL implementation. So we, we are just going to say create database company, oops, lowercase. So company sales, uh, company, uh, create, oh, oops. I provide, I did not provide another A, so there has to be another A. So syntax error. There we go. So we created the company database. We can take a look at it in the list. So this is the name, company's database, and this is the owner, M underscore Halali. We are going to work with this CSV. I've already provided it to you. You can go ahead and check it out. And uh, to be able to connect uh, to a database, uh, we can do backslash C and then the database name. Now, uh, connection is very important to manipulate the data in the database. And uh, the same way that we connected to it using uh, in other RDBMS that we have talked about, like MySQL or SQLite. So we do backslash C. 
Uh, then the name of the database, so company, company sales. You're now connected to database company sales as user Muslim. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.